Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure you're wondering what I'm doing. Apparently this, and I don't know how to do it. I'm, I'm not a professional guys. I'm not a professional. I don't know how they... So even though LPS has been retired for a couple years now, LPS YouTube is still very much a thing. And this is how LPS YouTube host their channel. They have a little mascot and they make them talk. So most of the mascots are all cats and dogs, I've noticed. Um, yeah, I'm, I went with the trash panda. It's a cute little... Okay, so I know you've noticed because I've been talking about it. I, man, my arm is getting tired. These guys must have crazy muscles. Yes, launch is finally here. I've gotten my hands on some, so I thought we would open them. And then, as a bonus, if we open anything that I currently have in the box from Gen 2, we can open those and compare. So, I'm hoping, I know I have like a Poodle, I think I have a Clydesdale, I don't know, we'll see. So, let's go ahead and, and get to, to opening. So, I'm supposed to... Like, this is a lot of work. So here's what I got today. So like I said, I'm finally getting my my things that I pre-ordered. I ordered 10 of the little miniature boxes. Um, and these are supposed to be like a little bit less quality, like high quality than these guys. So I'm expecting to see less quality. The tubes and the, the multi-packs are supposed to be better. Supposed to be better. Okay, so let's go ahead and open. Let's open the two first. So what do you think? I mean, so first off, I feel like these pets are a little bit bigger, right? Just off the bat, like this cat compared to this bird and my raccoon. You know? Well, let's see. So I like the packaging a lot. I think it's really cute. I like the tubes. Um, and so there's three tubes. And I have, let's see, I have the bird one which is this one. There's uh, City Vibes, Island Vibes. I really want this one. I don't know how to get this one. This one's so cute. And then I think I have this one to open. Oh, sorry, this one to open. And I'll do this in another video. So maybe with the, another a five pack. So I'm looking for this one, but all right, so let's get open. Let's see how this tube opens. Where's my handy dandy cutter? Going with flour today. I'm gonna open it from the bottom. Not that I need the tube. These are all gonna go in the box. Hello friends. Okay, so what is all in here? So this is like my card and my little coin for the game. So, if you are unaware, this launched with a Roadblox game. I've played it a little. It's it's cute. Uh, it's a little repetitive like most Roadblox games, honestly. Uh, I do like that I can keep this tube and maybe like restore some. Like, the inside of this tube is actually really cute. Like, I don't know. City vibes. Alright. We're going to keep this over here. And get our guys out. I like, let's see. I like that these are not paper. These are like, um, I mean, say these are not plastic. They're they're like that raffita, which means it's more recyclable. Which makes me happy. It's also really easy to cut. Also makes me happy. So these are a quick. My gosh, guys, that was an A plus for unboxing. Don't you think? this guy who's a little tight. Look at that. These guys just fall right out. A little accessory. So, if you're new to LPS, these guys are what is considered Generation 7. I think this guy is a Generation 2. So, um, oh, do you not stand? That would be sad. Oh, you are very wobbly. 
Okay, you can stand. Um, here's my kitty. Oh, gosh, she's so darling. And here's our puppy. I don't know what kind of puppy it is. Let's look at the... Let's look at the... So when you get a three-pack, I think you get a random card. Does it say what card on the back? Some of them. So it shows that the puppy card is in here. And it is the puppy card. So it is not random. You get the card that is on the back. Now, I don't know if if the card changes depending on um, the only one of these I've opened. Yeah, all the ones I've seen opened have um, the rooster card. So I think it's not very random. Okay. Put our little card over there and take a look at our checklist. All right, little friends. Okay. I, everybody hates this walrus, but I adore it. I cannot wait to get it. I guess there's more. So here we go. Here's one. We got the panda, the poodle, the pony, an otter, the bunny. Everyone's scared of this bunny. Let's see. Oh, I love this little, I have the, um, the yellow ocelot in a, not ocelot. Oh my goodness. You know what I mean. Um, in another one, but I can't, I can't, I'm going to open them in another video. <gasps> this fish is so pretty. Oh, this cat. I love this cat. I think one through 18, these ones up here to this tiger. Maybe it's to 19. I can't remember. I think it's to, no, I think it's to 18. These ones are all the blind box pets. One to 18. And the rest ones come in kits. Um, is there one back? Yeah. So I think, so cute. I love this rooster. I think he's adorable. So here you go. I do want them all, I'm not gonna lie. There's not a lot of things that I'm like, I need all of them, but I need all of them. Okay. All right, let's take a look at these guys. So the biggest complaint of these guys compared to Gen 1 are their squishy heads. This guy is not squishy. His body head color isn't, I, I think it's pretty good. I mean, this is a shiny plastic and this is more of a matte plastic. I think this little bird is adorable. Uh, let's see. His eyes is going to look into your soul now. Um, I mean, his eye looks pretty good. His paint is not bad. I mean, a little grainy, maybe? I don't know. It's good enough for me. I love his little top knot with his little <laughs> bow. His little green, I think. And his little, what is it called? Personality trait? Personality mark? Is this little diamond on his wing, and I think that fits perfectly. Oh, he's got two on each wing. That's so cute. I wish they told me what animal these were. So I'm going to go with, yeah, like maybe, it, I don't know what this is. Random bird. Kind of looks, like, with the tail, it kind of looks like a roadrunner, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't like to guess, guys. Do you guys know? Anybody out there? What do you think? Do you know? She does not know. All right. The next one is this adorable cat. I love it. It's very bobbly. So that's the other thing, like the bobble is very important. Like having a personality bobble is, is, is key. Let's check out our, let's look into her soul. She also has the green eyes. They look pretty good. They look pretty good, to be real honest. Um, are we dirty? A couple of people have mentioned that they're dirty. I mean, nothing terribly exciting. The cutie mark is next to our eye. I love it. It's super cute. I like that the pads of her feet have been painted. Her little nose. Ah, oh, she's so cute. I love her little spots. So I think this is going to be like a short haired cat. Oops, my bird is not very stable. He needs a perch. All right, and this is a puppy. And that's a Pomeranian. So is this like a... I don't know what this is. Oh no. It's so cute though. Look at him. Look at his bobble. 
cute little bow. His little pink tongue is adorable. Again, I like that the their toe beans are painted. I feel like the paint job is pretty good. His eyes, though, his eyes got some schmutz. If you can see that, it's like there's a, a flaw in his, his paint. I don't know if it's in the plastic underneath his paint, but he's still pretty cute. He's, he's, she's pretty cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right. That was it for our tube. And the accessory that it came with is this empty little food bowl. Okay. Now let's put these guys off to the side and let's open a mystery box. So the mystery boxes are numbered. So you don't have to buy like 8,000 of them to get the one you want, which I appreciate. The only other blind box that I know of did this was the Zombies. And you can tell which ones they are. Yeah, that does make the one that is rare harder to get because everybody gets the rare one. It's the first person who finds it gets the rare one. But, I mean, I'd much rather that than having to, like, buy 8,000 of the same thing. So, this particular number is... So, you can tell this is number one. So, I should be able to tell based on here what this is going to be. Has a bend. Here we go. So I think this is going to be Panda. All right. So let's open this box. is adorable. I don't want to hurt it. Oh, good job. Good job. It's so cute. I would like to save it. Oh, you are not wanting to bend. Oh, be kind. Be kind. Oh, okay. All right. So then I have some tape. The top. Well, if people are going to, like, try to open these in the store, they're going to have to be very gentle and, or just tear open the box. So, I do like that there's a little piece of cardboard in here preventing it from getting squashed. That's really a nice touch. They are wrapped in tissue. And in this one, I have, oh, you know what? Oh, I did get it. So each one, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention it. And I'm gonna, I play the game, so I'm covering up the code. So if you joined for codes, you are mistaken. Uh, so here are these little gold coins, and you redeem them for prizes inside the game. So I got my little code here for the box. So the, and I think the color of the, the coin kind of tells you what kind of prize it is. I have not done this piece. So by the next video, I will have, I will have done it, and I will let you know what that looks like. So let's open our cute little pet and tissue, which is sweet. There's nothing like. All right, his accessory is a little piece of bamboo, and as expected, it's a panda. All right. So this is the same panda that's on the box, and kind of the logo panda, which I find super cute. There has been lots of pandas in, in the LPS world. I like this face a lot. So this one actually has the cutie mark on the side of their face, like up here, and in their eyes. And I feel like that's a fun throwback. Most of them do not have the cutie mark or, or personality mark, I guess it's called in LPS land, in their eyes anymore. So back in the day they used to for a while but like this lbs doesn't either so i don't know does this one even have a personality mark yeah i don't know okay so here he is his little toe beans are painted he is a little squishier than like say this cat is actually comparing i mean they pretty feel pretty similar but like this little guy is a lot smaller than, I'm sorry, like the, the, the little blind box ones are smaller. I don't know if that's around the, let me show you, mm, yeah, let's get the, get the little table. It'll be easier that way. So, see how much smaller he is? I don't hate it, honestly. I think it's cute. There's room in my in my toy box for both sizes, so. And they're not so teeny. I have some, I don't know, Gen 5, 6 <laughs> to open, which are the least 
least popular um, generations, and, and they have like multiple different sizes. No, I don't, I don't hate them. All right, so let's take a look at Panda's card. He also comes with a with a, a checklist, but here he is. Isn't he cute? I oh, love him. All right. So let's open, what do we want to open next? Do we want to open another box? So this box is number, mine are all in order. I don't want to open them in order. Okay. All right, I mixed them up around. I don't know, I don't actually know what anybody is, but like mine were on like one, two, three order. So we'll open another box. So again, I want to be very careful about tearing up the box. And then I want to slice the little handle. They're so cute. And we'll compare sizes. So this one is number 10. I don't, so I think I'm going to keep one of these boxes I'm going to keep my little coins and one of these boxes I'm going to keep the cards. Seems like a plan, doesn't it? All right. All right, so, probably shut up. Okay, there we go. Oops. There we go. And our little, our little accessory is this adorable little sailboat. And we have a puppy. So this, this is the, I don't know, what kind of puppy is this? Spaniel maybe? This looks like a Spaniel. Super cute. Just check out his eye paint. Stare into my soul. Focus. Focus into my soul. There we go. I mean, I like this color, this teal. This one does look a little more grainy than the other ones. It's not quite as clear. I don't know if you can tell with my lighting, but his body is not as shiny as the previous ones. It's funny that his, um, his like actual date, the date he was produced is actually on here. So this one says 2010. So he's an older mold. He's so cute. Hello. I like his little paws. His little ears. I mean, it looks like it's a little off. Like, I feel like that, this little, meant to be here. Yes, like over here, it was off. So it's a little, the painting's a little off. But there's nothing that, like, for $4, I'm, I'm in love. They're not perfect. He's pretty hard. But I love them. I love them. I love them. All right, so let's compare our two doggies. So we have a spaniel and I don't know. I think this is like a Maltese. I don't know the top knot. So I mean, I guess these guys are about the same size, aren't they? I am confused about the sizing, but that is okay. I don't. I don't necessarily need to know. Oh, so cute. Okay. Oh. This is also very important. How how do they sound when they click? And they sound great. Like you can feel they're a little bit different. Like this has a deeper click. You can tell that they're not as this plastic isn't as hard, but they're still pretty good. I'm a fan. Alright. Should we open our big set next? Let's open our big set. What do you think, Trash Panda? Trash Panda says yes. And these guys put my oh did we look at the card so here's my col coin like i said it's just a yellow coin for the blind box here's my card again i wish the name was on it you know like spaniel or you know king charles you know something to let me know what kind of dog it is otherwise i'm just gonna guess nobody likes it when i guess all right so let's go ahead and open this <gasps> I am so excited about this. Again, I'm going to try to save this box. It's kind of the same, I don't know if you can see, it's the same sort of box as before. So 
like open the sides and then there's some tape at the top. And it's not quite opening the same. It looks like I have to do some pulling on the side here so you can see. So let's see. It looks like this side comes up. I don't know. It's complicated. I don't want to break it. Oh, there's more tape. So there's some tape on the sides here. They're just so cute. Like, I might just store them until I have something better. These might be really cute to store. Yes. All right, so let's look at the, I mean, look how cute that box is. I think they want to live in there and that's fine. Uh, so it says on the back that my card's going to be the rooster. Let's see if it is. It is not. It is not the rooster. I, Pomeranian. So maybe it is more random. I don't know, guys. I'm confused. All right, we'll have to open more sets to find out. Which means they have to release more sets. So on the, I just dropped it. On the bigger packs, we have a pink code. So there you go. I'll put it in my code bucket and I'm gonna slice these guys out. Again, I love that they're just rapida and I don't have to damage anybody and I don't have to Waste a bunch more plastic. Getting these out is like a dream. You know? So you're wondering, while I'm opening these guys, I do like little pet shops so much. They are cute. Um, also, they make really good props. I mean, they have a ton of personality and they don't pick up in the room. Right? So they have cute faces. Um, but they're not super, like, humanized, right? Like, they still look like pets. I don't know. Really, you know what I mean? Like, they're not... They come with little outfits and accessories and they just don't take up much room, right? All right, so let's take out some accessories. Oh, I broke my, broke my tail. Maybe be a little more careful when you're popping up the tail. All right, accessories are done. Let me find them all now that I've flung them all over. Okay. Guys, okay, so I'm gonna fix my bucket. Oop. There we go. Here's my bucket. It's adorable. And I have a little carrot. I like that the carrot has been painted on top, so it's not just like one piece orange carrot. I have a pair of apples. And I have this little jug of milk. I think it's milk. It could be water, but it's white, so I'm gonna go with milk. I also have this little hay bale, which is super cute. And is that it? Oh, and this little fence. This little fence. All right. How do I go over this? Who do, I mean, I'm so excited about all of them, to be real honest. Okay. So, I mean, I'm, I don't know. Who am I most excited about? Oh my gosh, it's too hard to tell. All right, let's go over the ant. The ant's pretty cute. She's like two-toned, but you can barely tell. Like, so her face is like a shiny pink and then her, her, the rest of her head is um, like a darker pink, but it, like it matches the, the last segment in her tail. But you can barely tell because it's so close. Her little cutie mark is this personality mark. I'm gonna keep saying cutie mark. Personality mark is this little um, heart, but then her face also makes like a little heart. So that's super cute. She's pretty cute. I mean, her eyes are adorable. Look into my soul. Uh, I don't see really any issues with her eyes. I like her little eyelashes. She's a cutie. Pomeranian. Pomeranian is the most squishy. Body is her body. I don't know. I'm gonna go with a boy because it doesn't have a bow. Not that boys can't have bows, but I feel like this one. This one screams like boy Pomeranian to me. 
uh, his like his ruff here is is a shiny plastic and the rest of his body isn't so that's interesting and when I was looking watching videos online everyone was complaining about how I guess you can kind of tell in the back like how different the plastic is but it it's not that bad it's not noticeable enough to bother me I mean they're clearly made out of two different plastics and they made the attempt with this rough like making it a little more shiny to like combat it from the front so I think it's cute cute little pomerang oh goat oh gosh the rest okay the last three I'm so excited about all right this little goat look at this little goat he's so cute I love that he's like gray and pink. It's a weird combination, but I love it. His little um, personality trait is a, a drop, like a droplet. And it's his little muzzle. Isn't that clever? I think it fits right in and it matches his little nub and horns. I think he's so cute. His eyes are a nice teal, a dark teal color. Again, I don't see... I, mine is not very dirty. Like a lot of people were saying that like maybe there's some dirty, but mine are not so far dirty. Um, or if they are, I'm just not very picky, I guess. Uh, okay. This donkey. I love this donkey. Look at how cute he is. I love that his body is very donkey shaped. Like it's not just a horse with a donkey head. You know what I mean? Which is basically a horse with like bigger ears. I mean, this is clearly a donkey body, right? Like you can see the the kind of like the hump, and he's got like a little tummy. He's so cute. His his personality mark is a star, and it's so cute. I like his little mohawk. His tail is cute. I think he's adorable. All right. So as far as I know, there's only ever been one rooster, and it's called the glitter rooster. Uh, he's glitter because like his, um, his, his, it's not a waddle, what is this? His like, I don't know, his mohawk and his little thing here are glitter. And maybe, and maybe his mouth, I can't remember. Like, he's got glitter on him. But otherwise the colors are pretty much the same, but he's so handsome. Look at that face. Hello. All right. And, alright, but his cutie mark is, where is his cutie mark, is this little diamond shape on this side. Alright, well let's move these guys to the side. Oh, I forgot a treat, I forgot a treat. Um, this little dog bone for our little puppy. So everybody gets a little snack. Right, so, I think you made some milk maybe, I don't know. And you get a carrot. Mm. And then maybe you get some chicken feed. And you get a fence. There we go. Something like that. Alright guys, I am running out of... Alright. I moved everybody to the side. And we will open another box. I think I'm getting the hang of these little boxes. They're so cute. I'm going to end up with like a ton of them. And I'm not going to know what to do with them. Maybe I'll use them for shipping things. I always need like little boxes. Where I want to put something in a box, but I don't want to like put something in a box. So, like I want to ship it in an envelope, but I want like it to have a little protection. You know? All right. This, oh, I'm so sorry. This one was number number four. Who do we got? We got a cute little drink. It looks like a little lemonade. Is her accessory? Oh. Guys, it's the Himalayan kitty. I want this one so bad. She's also the one that's on the box. Like if you are happen to be at a pet store and you like buy the whole box or most of the box, like she's the one that comes on the outside. So hopefully, hopefully at some point I'll get a whole box. She's so cute. Look at that. Again, I don't see any dirt on her. She's really cute. Again, I would have liked, so if you look at my puppies, let's grab a puppy. Um, her little toe beans aren't, aren't painted. So let's look at our other, our other blind box. So I'm not sure why his toe bean, my, my panda's toe beans are painted, but hers are not. 
Maybe because she's got so much more painting, like with the bow and the personality mark in the ears. Maybe? I don't I don't know. And maybe with the, the blushing, it just would have been more extra work. Uh, it's a little bit disappointing because she's a cutie, but I mean, honestly, I could just buy an extra and paint her toe beans, right? So cute. So this is the Himalaya cat. All right, let's take a look at her card. She also comes with a yellow, a yellow coin. And here's her little card. Chilliest level one core. So cute. All right, let's open another one. I'm very bad at this YouTube, LPS YouTube, because I was, I'm supposed to be like, my little guy is supposed to be hosting this video. Sorry, Trash Panda. Okay. I don't know how they do it. They just swamp them around, like, yeah. It's a skill, guys, and I don't have it. I am, I am just visiting the world, I guess. But if you ever are in needing a fun rabbit hole to go down, LPS YouTube Land is, is, is pretty fun. I've, I've been watching it for years, honestly. <laughs> Um, even though I can't find any of my original LPS, I had to buy most of the new ones, or ones I have, I can't find any of them, so I don't know what I do with them. All right. Let's see, here's, here's my little yellow car coin, my card. What do we got, Trishanda? We got a surfboard. Alright. And we got another little birdie. Alright, the birdie's pretty cute. He's also teeny. Let's check out our other bird for size comparison. Our other bird is much bigger. Right? Like, oof. Sorry. He's way bigger. So, what is this? Like a cockatiel? I feel like it's cockatiel colors, right? Uh, his cutie mark is personality mark I will come I will get this right uh is the lightning bolt and it you can see it's like it's the absence here like you can see it in white it's interesting I, I think it's a cute feature and different I love the colors I love that his little feet are pink his little beak is gray he's a cutie and again not much dirt like I don't see anything I don't see any flaws his eyes because he was painted on, like they painted his face and then put the, the eyes on top, his eyes are a little jaundiced. And we'll notice that. Like you can kind of see the bright yellow underneath. So let's see, you can grab, grab somebody else. So like here, you can kind of see that his eyes are just not quite as bright because they're on top of that bright yellow. And that was number five, I think. We'll see. Number nine. He was number nine. So he was number box number nine, too. See? See, his number corresponds with the box, the bottom of the box. So you're not spending a lot to get, you won't have to spend a lot to get the ones you actually want. Which I appreciate. Alright, and the last one of the G7 for today is I don't cut myself. Okay, this one is number number three. We have a bucket. This is our second bucket, but in a different color. I, I hope that means we got the walrus. I really want the walrus. The walrus comes with a bucket, and then, and nobody knows why, and I find it so amusing. Oh, my bucket doesn't, I think my bucket needs to be bent. We'll figure that out later. And we got 
No, we got the Clydesdale pony. Oh, he's cute. So, oh, he's so handsome. Look into my soul. His eyes are great, clear. Uh, his cutie, uh, his personality mark is this heart on his his rump. Oh, he's so cute. Again, I'm not feeling a whole lot of difference between quality. I think it's just like the paint. I think it's the paint that's the difference. Okay, super cute. And this one was number, I can't remember already. Number three. Here's his card. And here's his coin that I'm not going to show you the code of. All right, I'm going to put these all aside and reset a little bit and then I'll be back here. Okay, here are all the G7 pets that we opened today. And I dug through my boxes of unopened G2 and I found some G2 that fit kind of similarly to, to what we got. So this is a horse, it's not a Clydesdale. And I don't know if that saddle comes off, but here's a horse. And also a cute little bird that's kind of similar to the bird we got. And I think this is, I don't know what this is, but it's a fluffy dog with kind of ears. So we're gonna open these ones. So let's get to it. So let's take our birds. I don't know which bird it's gonna end up looking more like. Our pony and our two dogs. And we'll put everybody else away. All right, what was your favorite uh, G7? Mine, oh, it's so hard. I really like the rooster. I also really like this Clydesdale, and I like the cat. I like all, all to be real honest. So I'm still gonna leave my little mascot out here because that is that is what we're supposed to do. So okay, let's open this guy first. So this is Pet Pears, and it comes with a little bird, a little um, a little hay bale, and a little pony. I think this is G7. I mean G2. And supposedly the pet will. S I mean. So it is from 2005. I feel like 2005 is, is G2. I'm a little confused on the dates of when G2 is. And it feels like it's more of a, more of a, this one looks like this, and so therefore it's G, we don't like it kind of thing, so it's very difficult. All right, here they come out. Right, so here's our pony. The saddle does not come off. He's a little sticky. Hopefully being out of the package will help him. So let's, let's change our, our view a little bit. So here's our Clydesdale. Um, so our pony is a little, a little less stocky, I would say. She's a little more dainty. Her snout is a little, or her um, muzzle, I don't know what it's called in the house, is a little daintier as well. Her eyes are a little smaller. Her hair is more, more um, like of a, kind of a, has a sheen, and her, and her um, hooves are painted. She's cute. All right, there we go. I wish I had a Clydesdale. Sorry, guys. Oh, so, oof. This hay bale is extra sticky. And it is also hollow like our other one. All right, this little bird. I feel like this bird and this bird look really similar. I think. They're not identical, but they're, like, similar size and similar, like, vibes, I guess. Clearly not the same mold. Nor do they have the same tail. But I think they're pretty cute. You can kind of see, like... The eyes are, are a lot different. The painting, like, is is a lot different. They're so cute, though. Like, I don't, I mean, I don't dislike one over the other or like one more than the other. So, they're cute. Do I feel like I need to spend way more to get the older ones? No. If I find one that's cute enough, I'm, I'll just get the new ones. But, I mean, I do like the older ones. They have much better accessories. 
Although, I mean, this is the first launch, so who knows? All right. Let's go with this cute little doggy and her wagon. Again, I don't know what dog this is. And this one comes with a magnet. So I think it's G2. I think G2 came with magnets for sure. Comes with a little, also sticky, rope toy. Ooh, very sticky. Old plastic, gotta love it. Also sticky. Hopefully it'll become unsticky uh, now that it's out of the box. I do love... <laughs> it was, it did have like some sort of um, um, like tie holding it in, but it is all just in the brain. Oh, and she comes with a cute little collar. It's adorable. She is also sticky. Uh, only her bottom half, you can see where the um, she was held in. Hopefully I can just kind of give her a bath and she'll go back to being better. Guessing she wasn't stored in the best environment. She has a little collar. Get all that remnant rubber band off of her. I don't know. See, like her, because her body is a different kind of plastic than her, than her then her top, I feel like she is also like a different color. Like if you look on the back, this is a much like different color white. So, what do you think? Now let's compare it to the, the doggy we have. It's clearly a different mold. This has a tile up. It's similar-ish enough for me. Eyes are a lot smaller. Head is a little bit smaller. The body's a lot smaller too, I feel like. Accessory's cute though. I don't know why it has a magnet, to be honest. Anybody remember why these guys had magnets? I don't remember. These ones have just the hollow where a magnet used to be. Like most of them have the mold like for a magnet. Some of them have like little holes in them, like where you can stick accessories. Those are my least favorite. I don't like pets with holes in them. All right, well that's it. Our little our little mini G2 opening. But here we go. What do you think? I think it's pretty cute. G2 is a comparison. So, all right guys. Everyone have a great day. Let me know what you think about these new Littlest Pet Shops. I'm a huge fan. I think they're super cute and I will continue to open more of them. So, everyone have a great day. Uh, if you've enjoyed your time with me, please like and subscribe, and we'll do this again real soon. Ta-ta for now.